In this video, I'm going over how I do graphics on an anodized aluminum dog tag on a Glowforge laser cutter, and I still retain the alignment on the front and back of the dog tags. The first thing I'm going to do is get dimensions of the dog tags. Um, I'm going to use this inside of Inkscape and draw an outline for the dog tag, and then I'll put the graphics inside of the outline. The first thing we want to do with the outline is you want to make it a little bit larger than the actual dimensions that we measured. That way when you cut it out in cardboard, the uh, dog tag will fit inside of the cutout nicely. You overlap both graphics, how you want them to appear on the front and back of the dog tag inside of the outline. We load the design into the interface and then we're going to ignore the front and back graphics. Um, here I'm going to do a manual cut on cardboard. So I've set my speed to 125 and a precision power of 60. So here I'm sticking a sheet of cardboard inside of the laser cutter and I'm holding it down with magnets so it doesn't move around. Then uh, I've started the laser cutting and we're going to watch it. I've sped up the camera four times or the uh, video four times so that we can speed through this. Um, my camera will refocus a few times while it's trying to watch the head go by. So with this cutout, now we have somewhere to line the uh, dog tag up to in relation to the graphics. I leave the piece of cardboard in place that I just cut out. It's just a pedestal I can set the aluminum on. Um, you don't have to do that, but that's what I do. So we would cut the front graphic into the dog tag and then we take the dog tag and flip it vertically if we want it to uh, be a vertical flip on the graphics or we could flip it horizontally if we want the graphics to flip horizontally on the back side of the tag. Um, it's just what preference you want the dog tag to look like when you flip it over. So we're going to set up to cut the front graphic which is the logo. Um, I'm going to set the uh, ignore on the the um, outline that I just cut, and then I'm going to do a manual engrave on the front logo. I set my speed for a thousand. I have a power of about eighty. I use variable power. I like the way the graphics turn out when you do variable power. I set my lines per inch at two seventy. You can use whatever you want depending on how you want your graphics to show up. Now, if this is a view from inside the uh, Glowforge camera, and this is why my alignment. Uh, technique needs to be used. This is how far off my Glowforge is material to graphics. So I went ahead and started the cut of the logo and my camera kind of keeps trying to focus on the laser head so it keeps going in and out of focus unfortunately. I wish it didn't do that. Let's watch this. Oh I've sped this up four times by the way. So now we're going to do the backside graphic, and I'm going to ignore the front side graphic I just did, and I'm going to go ahead and set up for a manual engrave on the um, backside graphic. And I want, I'm doing a name, so I want it to show up better on the aluminum, so I'm going to use a little bit higher power so it shows up a little wider on the aluminum as the anodization is removed. And the camera stays in focus a little better during this video, since it's not... Uh, to refocus on the head as much and you can see how much a little bit uh, wider the or clearer the graphics show up on the anodization with a little bit higher power and this is the finished product uh, i hope this video helps somebody who needs to do some alignment on some object inside their their uh, glowforge cutter front and back and please subscribe i have more videos coming in the future um, thanks for watching